Hey everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of our wonderful uh, new franchise zoo. It is called the Oak Street Zoo, and we are here in episode number, I think it's five already, so quite a little bit of stuff already happening. And uh, in today's episode, we are already going to add another animal. However, let me just quickly say thanks to all of you who uh, just tuned into this video again. In case you haven't seen the series yet, it is a very much community-driven uh, wonderful franchise zoo. So you guys are bringing in beautiful blueprints we have in here. So whole bunch of blueprints you guys sent in. In case you want to do this, you can jump into the description, click on my uh, Discord link, and you just join the Discord thread of Franchise Zoo, and you can just bring all these wonderful things in, and eventually I'm going to use it. I am, so to say, the one who's kind of assembling this all and putting that into kind of a context and, you know, just making this a very cool thing um, in general. And, you know, I'm still very happy how much you guys appreciate it. Before we're going to add the new animal, which you know already what it is from the thumbnail, potentially, this is going to be the hyena. Um, this is going to be like a little bit of a look into what has happened already and you know what we need to fix. A few things I need to fix I can already tell. This is looking too bare bone over here. We need some trees in that exhibit but also we need to make sure if there's enough education going on here for the gorilla which I'm pretty much sure it is not. And we also lack in a female gorilla for our big dude because we need some more babies and some more animals in general in here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to first of all check if we can get another. See, there we go already. So let's see which of those has the best sets. That one is pretty good. So let's get um, uh, Namano. No, it's Naman Namono. Namono. Let's get Namono in. So Namono is going to be in. Um, and also I need to quickly check if the vet research is going good. So it's all research. That's pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. So that means we can also improve their food a little bit if you want. So this is kind of the indoor area. Now let's go a bit here. And food quality is ready too. Oh, you know, we can also put it to grade three now to make them really happy, like really happy. Okay, so I like this uh, little thing over here quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna have to, I'm not sure, okay, this is why. Uh, we're going to have like another one, which is going to uh, sit just over here, you know, just making sure that we have two of them and just gonna plop this down, there you go. And I think just to make sure that education is good, we're also going to put down like a speaker, which will sit somewhere in the middle. Let's go to facilities and then let's say edu, wait, no, I, God, I'm, I'm just always typing it wrong. I don't know why. We're going to put this educational speaker right in the middle, I guess. Um, let me just quickly get rid of this view. So we do have that. We can just sync that in. So it's just a little speaker peeking out. I guess that would look somewhat realistic. So there you go. And I think I can also color this like in, in dark gray. That's not even, ah, that is blending in nicer. So there you go, click. And then we're just going to say Western um, Lowland Gorilla. We're just going to increase the volume. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to put another one in this rock over here, okay? So we're just going to put this down. And I'm, I'm also willing to just rotate that slightly so it's kind of part of this artificial rock. So there you go. There you go. Boom. It's done. It's done. And let's have a look if, if the... Yeah, that's fine. You know, that's kind of more education for them. That's nice. And I think I'm going to put like another education board in this corner. Um, just some generic uh, and the kind of conservation information, if you will. I'm just going to put this down. And we say... Uh, yeah, I think that's that's nice. This would fit in here. Oh, there is someone who died. This is not good. So we have a Thompson's gazelle who died. Do we have enough gazelles left? Because I'm not sure if we have. Okay, let's have a look if we have still enough gazelles. So this is... Wait. That's the ostrich. I'm going to go for the Thompson's gazelle. So what about this one? Is it like being in transit? Uh, we've got like two females in this what's being being carried and being where is this one I think it's dead right no, are you are you just okay so see you later I guess so I think what we should do now we should go to animals and we then also should go to the Thompson's gazelle there you go they are in transit okay she died you're just gonna make sure that we get more animals okay um, and those two can still do animals. I'm not sure which one was mom and dad. I will eventually go in and, and use her guys' um, advice and just make sure that I'm going to use 
um, the little trick you guys come up with. And this is uh, all right. Just let's wait until and if if this is going to work. Anyhow, so I'm just gonna use this tree again to just put that in the back here. I just want to make sure that I have some more uh, trees and stuff. And then you know what I do as well. Uh, no, this is not the right tree. I'm just gonna put some more trees, like normal oak trees and stuff in here. I'm just not sure if, if... Okay, let's just quickly check continent Europe. I'm just gonna make sure that we, we take the... I think it's a common ash tree that I want to do. No, not that one. Where is this? There you go. This is the one I want to place in here. Because it's kind of... This is like a kind of bushy tree, but still not too wide and, and thick. And we can just use that wonderfully in here as a little tree to block the view a bit better yeah that is a lot more nice okay mm. <clears throat> yeah i'm also going to check i think you know plant wise yeah they're just fine with it i guess that's that's okay and i'm gonna put this ash tree right in that corner as well i'm, I'm guessing that they will potentially not like it too much but since this is like a classic zoo there needs to be a bit more foliage okay so it can be leaning in here a little bit but as long as they're like fine with it i guess oh well they're, they're kind of fine with it enrichment is not good species toy enrichment is missing i will get bored by the time right i remember this is like hard mode so i have to maybe exchange them that should be not too big of a deal let's say ostrich and then here we go and put them they do have a kind of stuff like that but you know i'm just gonna give them a slow feeder and then they get another colored ball and you know what, they get a different place sprinkler as well, which is going to be like super gray because I don't like this to be that colorful. So there you go. And I think we can also delete this one then. Uh, yeah, see, it's, it's not as exciting anymore. Uh, okay, cool, we've done that. And I think now they should do a lot better. Yeah, see, that's that's kind of cool. What about you? Yeah, you're doing better. So what about about these? Uh, no, that's the babies. They, they will do eventually good as well. So what about, <laughs> wow, I hit it. A sniper okay nutrition is not the best um, so maybe we can increase the nutrition for both mm. <clears throat> let's go to quality three and then let's go to warthog oh this is already three and gazelle is it like automatically at three I don't know I don't know let's leave it the way it is um, we still have protesters in here no they're co for who are you coming but why it's doing good It's just doing good. I'm like not exactly sure why you're coming into my zoo. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Oh, I changed. Oh, because of the thumbnail. Um, I was just wondering why the time of the day is so weird. But, you know, i got to change this quickly. Because I, I changed the time of day to have some better light. But, yeah. So, one of the lemurs has matured. I'm not exactly sure where exactly I want to put this new habitat yet. I mean, you've seen from the thumbnail potentially where it will be sitting. But I guess since I want to open up the zoo to the left hand side, um, at some point anyways, we are just doing this right now, I guess. Um, so let me just delete a few of those bushes here. And I remember that there is a staff building in here. Someone pointed out that there should be a staff build. Yeah, there you go. This is the staff building, in, um, which we will connect. We will connect the staff building. I am fairly sure. We will also now use a little bit of a different pathway here. Let me just see how yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm not like able to connect this. Why? Is there any any chance I connect anything here? Because or is it because of water that uh, it is obstructed by the water? Great. I think what we will quickly do, just gonna pause the game, get rid of the water. Can we put it back in? Is it the same height though? Um, wait, no. It is okay. So we can we can easily just do this quickly. I'm gonna put the path now down. Um, yeah, let's just increase the size a little bit. So wait, it's still not working. Malform path. All right. Now, is there any chance we can? Which water volume is being a problem here now? Is it the other one? Well, there. Because the, it, okay. So, well, that, that should be a big deal there anyways. Okay, let's see if we can, yeah, we can finally, we can finally do this. Yeah, it still works. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this in just about here. 
and then I will I will see how I will go from here. Okay, so this is this is just you know Thompson's Gazelle Dad. Is this like the other one debut? Who's debut? Ah, well I think we're just gonna get a quickly a male one, uh, not here, but we will do this potentially from over here. So um, do 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 do. -do. There you go, Thompson's Gazelle, and in this time we need a male. What's that? We barely ever need a male, but we're gonna... whatever. It's not the best one available, but you know, it is at least one. It is at least one. Okay, so before we hit play again, we need to put in the water back in. Wait, why is it... Like, lake cleanliness. There you go. And can I... Use auto paint? I don't know if... Yeah, that makes it look a bit more realistic. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can just keep it that way. Changed a little bit of the... It's, it's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> it is all okay, guys. So, what we're going to... Yeah, I think this is this is great for the hyena habitat because we do have already um, this stuff building in here. Is there any kind of space left? I think... I think I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to rip apart this wall. And then I'm going to change this to one meter. I'm just going to drag that one further back. Now it's connected with the pathway. I'm going to change the pathway, though, to the um, step path, I guess. Uh, and then I'm just going to put that in here. This in here. It will look, hopefully, pretty cool once we've done that. Now, because we will now put in oops, uh, facility A kitchen, this kitchen will be... Let me just... This keeper hut will be in here. Just potentially hidden nicely enough. Yeah, well, you can only see these little streams down there. It's, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm gonna put this here, and then just gonna put that one. Wait, no, I'm gonna put this here, okay. And then we will also put that one. I think it would be nicer here. I'm just thinking of where I put the entrance, to be honest, to the habitat. Um, Because that will make sense here. You know what, we, we will try if, if I can connect those two now, okay? We will just do this. Um, I'm going to bury us, and then let's just see if we can click that one just in. Yeah, that looks that looks fairly decent to me. Let's see if we can squeeze that into the perfect situation here. Um, there you go. That's nice. And this is not what I want to do. I want to do the best thing possible here by... Yeah, that works. Awesome. So let's just do this a little bit smaller, and then... We can hopefully just about connect this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just whatever. Okay, cool. And then we're just going to delete this bit over here. And we go to staff path and just say, wait, can I just quickly say that one? Wait, it's not too close to the toilet. I, are you kidding me? Oh, wait. No, that works. That works. Okay, cool. So this is done. I'm just going to put a, put a door here. There's already like a lantern to where to put this. I haven't seen this, to be honest. And now... Uh, I think the water's back in. We can hit play. It doesn't matter too much. Um, we are on the wrong. We are on the wrong menu. Okay, so I'm gonna put down a, a door. You know, a very single and simple door. It's going to be here. Not sure if I use that one. I like the bigger double door things a bit more for these kind of backside areas. I don't know why. I think they just work better as kind of backstage areas. There you go. Just gonna put this one right in here, and then what we can easily do. It's just like, you know, just cover that one up here. I don't know if it's cool to have like a window in. I think maybe it makes even sense to um, to have like a window. Okay. Or maybe even like that one, like an archway. No, I think I don't want to have an archway. I think like a s simple window would make sense. And then we are going to do this, uh, yeah, a little bit closer. I like how this works so we're just gonna copy wait no i'm stupid so let's just move that over because we need, don't need to copy that okay so i'm gonna move this over and then uh we are just going to move that in here again split that from the building just raise that because i don't want to have the texture fighting going on okay so this is going to be what's uh, happening was there like a tree in here did i just put it if so me being Super stupid again. Super stupid. Super, super, super stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna put this there, but I think that would, yeah, that, that looks cool. If we do it 
that way, that way. Can we just squeeze another one in? There you go. I don't know why I want this, but I think it looks cool. And we're gonna put another one here. Awesome. So this is kind of cool. And then we will put like, mm, I think it's easiest to just say glass and then we are going to put the normal window pane in. There we go. That's the easiest way of doing it. Blooms, there you go, this is in. Awesome. Okay, so we've done that building and now this is the perfect spot to put in the hyenas. Now, I want to, first of all, create this pathway over here just to meander through this area, just a little bit like this. And then, I'm not sure if I put like a, now we, we said we want to make this park as tiny as possible. And so therefore I'm just not going too nuts here. Oh, I can't, it's because, oh. okay. Gonna have to get rid of the water volume again, I guess. How much litter is here? Okay, before we, before we do anything else, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of bins here. That is insane. That's not helping. It's not at all helping to make the zoo look good, right? So, there we go. I'm not even sure if there needs to be like a caretaker. Whatever. So I'm gonna um, get this little wonderful thing. Also, where are my caretakers? I think I, I'm just gonna employ another one here. And you are working. You get a new work zone and I can already take that one in. And this is going to be Le oh, wait, didn't I say, I think care lemur? Was that the wording I used? I'm not sure if I did use the word in care, but whatever. We're just gonna use this. The Thomson's Gazelle is about to mate. Just gonna pause the game. Just gonna get rid of water on water here. And just gonna connect now these wonderful pathways with each other. That looks decent to me. Just gonna go back and say yes and. <clears throat> yep. Now, <sighs> one second of silence for me. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the problem. Yeah, it almost looks like that this is the problem, right? I can't. <laughs> Can I at least bring this back in here? Yes, I can. So you're telling me that this doesn't work, right? Guess what? I'm going to make this smaller than I guess. Um, that somehow works. I just want to make sure that I can bring back in the water now. It doesn't work. I, I, I want to, I just want to, I just want to cry, honestly. All right, so what we're gonna do, just undo all of that until the water's in again. There you go. I hope it works now with only deleting this water. Yeah, that is enough. Uh, uh, what? I mean, seriously? Okay, so, but now, yeah, now that works. Whew. <laughs> this is so stupid. Never mind. Okay, animals get boxed. Um, can we just unbox all animals again? That was my mistake. Uh, there's a whole bunch of litter still. How long is this episode? I, I feel like it's already pretty long. 18 minutes and we haven't done the habitat. Oh, God. Okay, um, this, is going <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Now, uh, I am... Are they all dead? They just bring all these animals away. I'm not sure if they all died. Um, however, <laughs> however, I want to see, okay, there is a blueprint that Haribo provided and I think I want to use it here. But it's going to be hilarious because I, of the piece count, I guess, but wait, what? I mean, it looks fantastic and we could use it, but do you see the price? How and why have protesters arrived? Let me just quickly, what is going on? Why and which animal is not doing great? Oh, well, why are you not telling this? Good. I mean, that's that's been done. Is that like, was that thing seriously the only animal died of old age? Um, okay, so there is another one in here now. Okay, so why can I not 
Farjai, okay, so those are two both in transit, but these are like everything, okay, uh, okay, whatever, go protesters, go now, we don't need you. Okay, so barriers, I'm gonna create this one, first of all, being like an invisible one, we don't need this. Um, this is going to be a habitat, okay, so I want to do something this time with like a the viewing platform that goes into the middle here, so I'm going to, I'm going to just put that here, and this is going to be like the little viewing platform so i'm gonna say wait no 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 q there you go just small q here and i just want to make this connector piece there and then we are just going to say connect boom awesome that's the that's the easy bit here so just to keep it that way um and you know the drill we're just going to make like a little ditch here i i, I think they can swim so this time we're just going to make this like a heavy ditch um so we do make like a a uh, nice separation between the animals and the one uh, viewing so we are just going to make sure that this looks similar to both sides so just going to round that off here um, just going to make sure that this is just the habitat okay so uh, the beginning and this is where we use a like glass barrier um, to make sure that they have like a wonderful panoramic view I think that will look good um, and I'm also going to use like a simple wall background I guess just like like a Backlog. I can, you know, I don't even know how to call it. This one is super expensive, unfortunately. I would love to use that because this looks fantastic, and I think I'm gonna use it as well. But just in those area, uh, this area here, um, because I think two of them will already be enough to have like one nice backdrop here, uh, just to make sure that we make like a little planter area here, and then it looks good. And then the rest can be a bit more of a normal fence. Uh, this one is specifically nice for the foreground here, I guess, because it's still dangerous. You know what? No, actually, this can be the perfect piece, but we need to use that one. Okay, I think we're going to use that one quickly for the inner part because these are still dangerous animals. Um, and I'm going to make this leaning to the inside, but this is kind of, no, it's really, it has to be that way around. Because that, you know, realistically, that's the only way it would be. And I'm, I'm going to start this here. And then we can use some other stuff uh, to be in the middle there. Okay, but I think the good bit about this is... You can just... Uh, no, whatever. I'm just going to follow, follow this little bit of path here. This will be the most intimidating work and the most annoying work here. The rest will be pretty simple. I'm just going to make like a little brick wall design for the back of this habitat uh, because I don't want to use just cost reasons okay I don't want to use any uh, normal barrier in-game barriers even though I think it might be possible already because we have enough money we make enough money but still just gonna make sure that this is looking still fine and good and you know um, so that's the reason why I'm not yeah, I'm, I'm trying to avoid the in-game barriers as much as I can just to save as much money as we can and whenever we will need them later on, for example, for uh, water areas and stuff, we will then use them. But, you know, the more we save them, the more we save money because, you know, you don't need the mechanics to fix them all the time and you don't have the danger of them breaking out because you forgot to fix them and maintain them. And also your mechanics are not as busy so they can do the real deal and just repair your ATMs so that man money comes in, you know, because that, that that's the only thing they need to do. They have to repair all the ATMs as we all know because that's where you get the money from and you know that is kind of cool you know this is the little bit in the middle i wanted to have and now let's create yeah let's just create quickly a brick back wall so i'm going to use that one i'm just thinking that in a little bit so it matches this height awesome and i think what would be cool just going to go for fence yeah we sure have these things here available but i want to use this little bit as a style element you know um bringing that in i can hear still some protesters which is super annoying i'm just gonna pause the game quickly we are doing some decent money but i you know the protesters are really annoying uh, the, 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 the crappy out of me um I think it might make more sense to just move them like this. Move them like that. You know, we just have these 
kind of top parts. They are somewhat affordable price-wise. So yeah, that's, uh, we still need one. Yeah, no, the one needs to be in there. Just mo move that in the middle. Okay, that's cool. I think it's almost already it. Maybe we can just bring that a little bit down here in. How, may, how, how expensive is that 10-ish? Well, 10 is, 10 is okay. And then if we have that to the ground here, it's gonna peek out to the backside, right? Does it even matter to have that to the backside? I mean, we can, it doesn't really matter at all. We can, we can, you know, use it that way. Okay, cool, so that's done. And, you know, to keep it fairly simple, we're just doing like a three-ish part. Yeah, three is, three is just fine. And now that still provides a little decent round shape, but yet will not take us like ages. And again, I, I don't want to make this, I think we can make this habitat way smaller, maybe, by pushing these things in. But we will have to see how much square meters the hyenas need. Um, I'm wanting to keep it fairly small. Maybe bring that already back to where it belongs now. Somewhere like that. Maybe we need to open this up later on again uh, to make sure that this is going to be... Yeah, I think that could be cool. How much space do they need? Just for me already to know that. Um, hyena, the spotted hyena. It needs... Well, they need some space, actually. So um, that's good to know. Like, let's, let's aim for 1.3 thousand square meters um, just to make sure that this is somewhat doable and then also like just connect that here very very simple very classic you know just going to do it that way awesome and then we can use that little bit of terrain here just do it that way yeah now that's kind of cool and I think if I'm if I'm clever enough I will do this that way to just smooth that out a bit um, and I'm just hoping that they won't be able to uh, kind of, you know, jump down in here. Just making sure that this is all a nice little ditch. In case I need to make it even, you know, even lower, that should be fine. But, you know, it could always just do it that way. It's kind of the, the most important thing here. We can just, whoa, what's that? No, no, no. Me, be, me being stupid, okay? Just going to lower that down as much as we can. So he goes and then... Yeah, that looks good. Now what we will do quickly, just going to put some some nature in. Um, in the, <laughs> by, by nature, I mean rocks, okay? So that is, uh, the, the only kind of nature I know is rocks. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's kind of like a running gag, but it's, you know, just rocks always help to make things look so much better in no time. And also they have a horrendous hitbox for the animals. So they mostly, they mostly can't pass then, so this is also pretty helpful. And also it makes it look a bit better. So yeah, it's kind of a win-win for everyone. And we can use it to all the sides, uh, making sure that this all looks good. And I'm not sure like what exactly I'm going to use here. So I, li I like when you have this a bit more like this. They can jump pretty intensely, I guess. So maybe just being a bit more careful so they can't jump over to the other side here. Um, I'm not sure like how much rock we can use, so just making sure that they will not be able to jump out. So just kind of creating it this way and we can make like a lower fence going down here, maybe. Um, yeah, just doing the same around that corner, just using some of those pieces, just a bigger boulder going in here, so they hopefully can't climb on that one. If they can, I'm just gonna put some stuff in front of it, so then they won't be able to jump out there. Just gonna put like a bigger one here to the side. Hopefully it's gonna block enough for them. And yeah, so this is this is what we are following. Just gonna put this all in here and then maybe give also a bigger boulder a little bit of a chance here. There you go. Um, is there anything else? Like maybe this this darker one can, can be one part as well. Just like so. Yeah, and then let's put that into the corner. Again, not sure if they can jump over. We, I mean, we will find out, definitely. Uh, this is the inevitable thing, but um, yeah, just just kind of making that look somewhat decent, I guess. There you go. Just a few things here and there. I think that is already pretty fine. Um, yeah, let's see how big the, the habitat becomes if, if we draw the barrier. Um, let's say 
here. Okay, so we're going to take the invisible one. We can just make that a little bit longer, okay? So obviously, we're just going to go here. Just bring that all the way down here. I mean, that should be all fine. There you go. Just drag that out so it's going to be here, right? And then, yeah, let's let's be let's be a bit more generous and go a little bit more to the outside. Just no, I was wrong too much. Um, just to make sure. By the way, this is the song where people believed it was City Skylines, the sound. I'm not sure if it is, to be honest, um, because this is a playlist from Epidemic Music, which is the um, uh, licensed music or like the copyright free music provider I use. Like I have a, a monthly subscription so that I'm allowed to use uh, their music library. And, you know, that's kind of how it runs on YouTube. So if, if you know, Paradox bought also songs there this could well be but honestly i have no idea it also reminds me of sim 3 i guess or 2 like a song I, I i remember from there but it could be also something else so don't quote me on that i'm i'm just trying to find out but you know some of you mentioned that and i i definitely recognize this being exactly this style so i don't know it might be but it might also not be. I don't know. Okay, so how much space is that? 1.9. I think it's exactly the size we were opting for because that kind of ditch should not be. We put a lot more other stuff in and then it's gonna be looking weird. Okay, so I'm gonna put this animal in, I guess, quickly to see how they behave. So let's move that one in. And we're going to put the other one in as well. Um, this is Sefu and Omorose. Um, Sefu and Omorose will be in this habitat. Okay, I'm going to put play. And what we will do now, we're just going to go to facilities. And while I'm just going to type in edu, because this is what we need to do. Education boy. Um, I think I might use that one again. I like this one quite a bit. So just using that here. And then we could also use like a normal screen again down here and i'm just gonna put another one down here <laughs> i'm just going all over now um and also the sound i mean i mean you could make this like hang hanging in the middle i guess but you know what i'm just going to sink that into i can't even see if it's in the ground right now i'm just gonna put that into the ground um like this i guess it almost vanishes in here. It has no power, right? Okay, so it has no power. We, we're gonna grant some power here. I, I know how uh, we will be able to FG. I, I thought there would be power over here. Um, so let me just quickly check if they can break out. Oh God, I didn't even check. Let's quickly do it because I'm fearing they can escape. They can't. How much space do you have? See, that's what I meant. It's just about enough space. It's just about enough space. Okay, before they get um, very upset, we are going to grant them a lot more grass short while they don't really like grass long. And so you're gonna just repaint that. Wait a second. Why exactly can they escape here? I mean, what? Okay. I. You know, I, I don't know what exactly is happening here, but I'm just going to assume that I'm just being stupid. Um, I'm like, <laughs> I have no clue what happened here. Um, just going to wait until it's recalculated. Ah, there you go. Okay, never mind. See, I mean, it's it's good. It's just about right. When they get babies, it's not like perfect, but wow. Just, wow. Okay, gonna get more soil in. I'm just gonna get a bit more soil here and there, you know? Just just doing that. And then, do they like rock? Oh yeah, they like rock. Okay, so we can just make that smaller and do some rock that is just kind of covering this bit here. So there you go. And then we're just gonna smooth in some smooth rock. You know, down here there's a bit more rock going on. And then you're just obviously painting that area. Yeah, sure, you're watching there. I'm gonna just put something in front of your eyes because you should not be watching from over here. You just go in the middle because you have the best view possible. I'm not even sure if I need to sink that down a bit more so you have the better view. I guess this makes a lot of sense, I guess. So, let's wait, how's that not even selecting? Okay, just gonna select this one too. And then, there you go. With this wonderful wonderful fences designed by Haribo. But again, I'm, I'm just going to sink them in a little bit more. 
so the guests have a better view just so that this i don't know i'm just gonna make sure that these circles go here there you go not sure if they can escape now but you know assuming they can't uh no i can't okay cool now this is all good um still two less grass shot which uh we will we'll fix now okay so what is what is most in uh there's still too much long grass so that is what we can get rid of uh i think it's mostly to the outer sides here yeah let's just paint all of that okay so they're happy with this i'm you know i'm, I'm not even bothering to do more um what kind of you it's kind of grassland africa right what they what they like um yeah yeah grassland africa that was about the one i was assuming so africa biome grassland no 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 and eh, there is barely anything in here i think that one works for our climate but mostly this one is the tree i'm i'm quite often using so i'm gonna put this in the back here and then this one is also kind of nice fitting you know just making sure that this somehow all looks a bit nicer you know just getting some bush in there you go just you know in, in case it's you know i just want to make sure that this is somewhat looking nice and you know not super bare bone because otherwise that looks too big you know what we do I'm just gonna raise that a little bit because this will be a little hill just giving me a hint that i want to have like a hill here and this is still working pretty nicely indeed because that is definitely a tree that would uh more than be easily growing over here you know just making sure that they get a bit more hilly area and then um we do have elephant grass i just you know i put this down in here and uh, is that like yeah i hope it's not going to create like this area to traverse now because as we all know the game loves to do that so <laughs> i'm really hoping it's not doing this and then you know just get some get some stuff down here so just making sure that this looks a bit more nice and so on 36 minutes into today's episode i'm quite impressed because that's that went a lot faster than i believed it would um the only thing is i need to put like a generator in here not sure where exactly i'll put that because wait actually we have to see where it would make sense so well, yeah the placement here would have been great i guess um that's kind of the yeah okay let's have a little look if i put if I put a generator, a transformer, this is what the thing is called. I guess I would need to put that somewhere here anyways. Um, and you know what? I'm exactly doing this now. Um, assuming that we will potentially grow the zoo into this direction anyways. We are doing this and then that kind of gets the kind of yeah path. I mean, this is still looking super weird. Can we just fill that gap in? There you go. And then we're just going to... No, we're just going to go with the 4 meter path, my mate, okay? So let's just bring that all the way up here. I'm not sure if it's hitting it. Oh, that is that is phenomenal. That's, that's quite nicely fitting. Okay, cool. Look at... I mean, look at that. This is, like, more than classic. Um, I love it. We can just hit play again. Um, and then we're just going to create some hills here. Just so it fits... There you go, a few more hills. So until until this thing is, is in there. I think we have to alter the terrain a bit more because we created some... Yeah, it's still doing. It's still working. Um, and we're just going to get some more gro short grass in. There you go. I think one important stuff is we, we can play with a bit more sand. Wait, no. It's way too high of a chance. Let's just do this because, again, these animals love to run around and you know destroy this looks a bit wait you are doing some suspicious stuff here yeah but it cannot break out um which is good i'm just gonna lower this down anymore a little bit more just to make sure i don't know if that will work but well okay so um can we get some water down in here yeah just very deep in there just not high okay i i think they don't have any need for water do they uh, let me, hey, 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 stop running around. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so terrain, they don't need anything. They need hard shelter, which I will get. How happy are you? Well, not that happy because you will need some enrichment. You get this now. Okay, we have 39 minutes. Okay, but we are just hyena. Wait, hyena. 
Ah, there you go. So what we will put in first. Um, they will get a bit of shelter in the back here. Um, so that get the rotation line feeder just in the center there, okay? So this is, this is here. They will get the water pump is going to be hidden behind this rock because we all hate this thing, okay? We all hate this. So well, I can I just barely can put this anywhere. Just put that here. I just want to make sure that this is like a little bit hidden. Um, I like this prey sack thing. This is going to be here. And then do we could just we, we also get them a ball in. Um, this kind of ball is going here. We we cannot recolor this thing. We can just recolor that one, right? I want to make this like like a simple brownish ball. There you go. There's still some green to it for whatever. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna keep it that way. Is there anything else we can put them to play with? Yeah, we can have the dog ball, um, which is which is a great thing. Um, no, this is where the uh, shelter goes. So let's put that down here. And you're gonna have like a chewing toy as well. That goes here. And then we will give them the food tray for feeding them. Let's just go here. And then we can already put the large bedding in here. I think I'm gonna move this one a bit further to the foreground. Uh, that goes somewhat here. Awesome. Okay, let's unpause the game quickly. I think they should do a lot better than 90%. Okay, cool. We're going to use um, uh, this one, yeah. That one should be fine. And now we call this one brick again because I want to make sure that this looks somewhat like so. And then we give them the shelter here. I guess it would make sense to put a wall because I want to make sure that they, yeah, they have some privacy. Oops, no, there you go. And then we would just put down the, the, most, the most simple, I think I want to use the slate roof here, yeah. I think that one, that one, we haven't used this one too often now, but I think it really fits the classic zoo so much that I want to use it. Yeah, this is too small to even use the corners like I wanted them to use because I would need to make this work. Uh, nah, you know, can I, would that make sense to just make sure that this is as wide as we need it and then fit that in the middle? It kind of works, I think. I think it kind of works. Okay, so I'm just going to do it that way. And then we have this slate roof piece in the middle. There you go. Um, it opens up to the back. It kind of floats in the middle anyways, but you know, it, uh, I think it's fine. Mm, I'm gonna give it a pillar here. Why not, okay? So we, we, we will use and this typical brick pillar, which we do have here. It's a formidable, oh, no, I mean the thin one. Yeah, I I was going for the thin one. There you go, just put that to the corner. Boom, one and two. And it, it's gonna hopefully not destroy too much of the traversable area, even though I'm quite sure it does. Uh, ooh, it's just about right. It It's just about perfect. This is the this is the this is the perfect habitat guys it is the perfect habitat we have energy now as well we have this we have that the only thing we don't have is donation boxes which we will put down everywhere where we need them um and it's kind of a little pity that they're watching too much from over here. i no okay i don't want to i don't want you to watch from over here i just don't um yeah, we're going to the 50 minute mark again. I can't stop doing this, right? I need to stop do the, doing this for the next episode. It's not good. It's no good, guys. I'm gonna put this here. Just so that you guys need to move a little bit further to the right. It's not that much, guys. Just go a little bit further over, okay? Um, I'm gonna call this fence and there should be like a simple, normal... F <sighs> this is classic zoo style, somewhat. This is classic zoo style somewhere, but I think, you know, we're going to use that one and we're going to make this, wow, that's dark. Um, that, yeah, let's color this this way. And then I'm just going to build a little wall here, little wall design, nothing major, nothing crazy, you know, just so it all fits and suits. 
Why is there like the long grass in the middle, by the way? That looks absolutely bad. There's not even a word for it. It looks absolutely voracious. I, I'm, you know, it's, it's not looking any good. I, I can't see a thing. Thank you for enlightening me again. Thank you so much. Just going, but this is the. I'm I'm sorry, but this is the most lazy fence design ever. But I think it it fulfills the job. I okay. The zoo opening might be a bit early with this lighting. I don't know. I'm just gonna put this put this down. Here. Okay, cool. So that's done. Can we just quickly say that this area is like soil or like smooth rock, for, for example? I don't care. Honestly, guys, this is a very cool habitat. And I think it fits this area very nicely indeed. Um, I'm going to make this like a very kind of nice brick covered area in the middle so that the water feature somehow makes sense. I'm also kind of planning to maybe get even flamingos in here. I'm not sure. But I think it's shaping up really nicely, guys. It's looking, it's not really looking like a franchise zoo, if you ask me, um, which is also thanks to your guys' amazing blueprints. So keep on posting them. I really, really wish um, that you guys enjoy this, and I certainly do. I really hope that you guys um, want to stick around. So in case you haven't been subscribing yet, uh, I, I, oh, 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 I can't even talk anymore. I highly um, uh, recommend to consider subscribing. It helps me, helps the channel. Um, it grows this whole thing over here. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just very happy to welcome you in the next one as well. Maybe with a bit of a better English language then. <laughs> but until then, guys, have a wonderful time. Stay safe, everyone, and have a good weekend as well. Goodbye.